Wait, I do have Twitch, but what am I doing? Explain. Uh, uh, go to AJ's Twitch, and you're going to monitor the chat. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so check the audio. See if it's working. I unmuted. And then also make sure that I'm actually sharing the screen. I remember last time I wasn't. It looks like I am. I don't see. No webcam today, because half naked. <laughs> I just right. got done taking a shower. I just decided to just leave it off. Oh, okay. It's, I see it. Uh, I see it. So I'll keep my mouth shut. See, you better uh, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> I will, boss. I will. Uh, I know how this works. Still not loading. So Facebook is good, but uh, yeah, is a good. little low. Little low? What do you must mean low? Unless Discord is really. Uh, just you're still like not loud. live on Twitch. What do you mean it's slow? Elaborate. It's it's lower audio than the Discord. I lower you. A problem occurred yeah. while authenticating your credentials. Please check that username for what? For Twitch? Okay. Uh, Twitch is not live. Yeah, it said something was wrong with it. Let's try again. No. Give you it know, a second. I'm... What's up, everybody? Hello, everyone that may be joining. It seems like I'm twitching now. Uh, let me see. Refresh. Nope. Give it a sec. Right. It takes. I think like Twitch is also like on a like eighty second, eighty minute delay. So just wait eighty minutes. <laughs> just wait on eighty so minutes. So you mean by the time we finish this stream, yeah, that's what then I'm check saying. to see if it went live. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start. Uh, but YouTube's gone, right? Okay, yeah. there it goes. It's up. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, someone's uh, listening with their head or speakers, so there's an echo. Who who that be? Everybody, uh, mute your mic if you're talking. We'll just yeah. radio this. Well, yeah. it's I don't think it's a it, yeah I don't think it's a big deal if you guys are unmuted. It's uh whoever someone might be listening via their headset. Not sure who. Or I'm sorry, not headset of uh, speakers. Speakeronies? Maybe not. Maybe it's just there's just a general echo. What is it, what are the viewers what are y'all experiencing? Twenty five on YouTube? Yeah, but what are, are they experiencing any kind of echo? We're good on Facebook. Okay. So maybe it's just the Discord a little bit. But the whatever is being picked up on the Discord is picked up on all the platforms. It's been a while, folks. Been two weeks uh, out, I think, since the last stream. Looks like Twitch is fine. Um, okay, I won't worry about it. Maybe it's just me, just being weird. So, hello, everybody. Hope everyone had a good weekend, good weeks, hanging out, living their lives. Um, we're gonna keep the simple, keep it short. Just have a dialogue, have a conversation, and answer questions as well as paint in five-minute intervals. Um, Mike. Just wanted to say, proud of you, but see you're consistent on your YouTube videos. You want to do a quick hey. shout out so people can check out <laughs> sure. your your channels? Uh, yeah, that'd be fine, man. Yeah. I should I tell people what I do? He's not paying me. I just he's my friend. I want to help him. I've been watching your stuff too. It's fun. Yes, you can explain whatever you think is valuable to people. That people need to know. What is that? Kill ISIS. Kill it. I'm sorry. I my ISIS Whoa. cat. Whoa! <laughs> My cat's name is Isis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Calm down, Isis. <laughs> yeah, but um, they didn't name him Isis because of the terrorist group. I think they just didn't realize. No. <laughs> no nothing before. wrong with the name. It's that group that's in a ruckus. Yeah. <laughs> My cat is beautiful. All right. Anywho. Um, you you, you see in the back. Just wants attention. Yeah. Before you go, like you just see your cat in the background. He's like the leader of Isis. <laughs> like when you're gone, <laughs> like, like, yeah. One day you come home and your computer's <laughs> like your computer was left on, and then he left like a jihadist like a uh, terrorist <laughs> like forum was open, and there's a picture of head. yeah, there's a self portrait of him on the, one of the profiles, and he's like speaking, <laughs> he's speaking to the terrorist. <laughs> she like whispers in my ear like, "I'm the reason you have that beard." I'm like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so. Recently, I started doing a daily vlog on my YouTube channel, Brainchild TV, and it has been really fun. It's been really fun and slightly challenging, but uh, so far I've been consistent. I believe I have 12 days in a row of uh, making a video, and I, I am somebody that's interested in skateboarding, art, 
and music and I'm trying to work on getting better at all of these types of things as well as having and maintaining relationships with my friends and I'm going to try to capture all of that and try to each day make an interesting video that maybe even like inspires something in you or tells a story so yeah that's kind of what I'm doing right now yeah I was watching uh, you and your buddy were skateboarding on your videos I was like I want to skateboard yeah. um, I like how some of the videos you start with uh, you guys screwing up and then you lead yeah, into us not like loading smart. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. I like that's a nice touch. Uh, like it's it's a subtle implication of you guys aren't pro. I like it. Yeah, that, that's actually one of the most important things I think is showing the failures, is because it kind of gets across the whole idea that these aren't things that you can do right away. You know, like the the backside flips with friends video. It took me a lot of tries to land that one time. But now I can, like, I can go to a skate park and do it in a couple of tries. But it took all of those tries to do it. So, yeah, it's like those. Same thing happens with art. Yeah, it's like those dude perfect videos, right? Those guys who like throw like a basketball from like a mile away and they like, make it and they're like, yeah, and it just makes it seem like they they literally are perfect dudes. Yeah. <laughs> but but you know that they took like all day to just get that one like basketball shot. Like from like a mile away, right? but it's just so cool to see. It's so impressive to see the actual mm -hmm. shot. But there, there is this false like, um, there's this and false that short celebration. Yeah, there's this false sense of yeah. like a, a reality of like that's how it's done. Uh, that's first five minutes, and so then, um, you know, like uh, when I, I remember when I used to watch Noma DVDs, I would watch people paint. And like it would, all the videos would be sped up, right? And so I'd watch mm -hmm. these people paint masterpieces in like under an hour, and I'm like, oh man! And I knew it was sped up. It wasn't like I didn't know, but it was just like subconsciously, right? Like I always felt like I, if I wasn't painting as fast as the sped up videos, then I was garbage. Um, I was talking to my students about that today. It's like it's not important to worry about that stuff. It's actually superficial. Uh, I, I, I like to use it as a tool to practice, but it just ends up becoming something that I just generally became. A fan of. I'm a big fan of technical skill, so I just really wanted to be good at it and be faster. But I make a very clear disclaimer that this is not a standard of the industry. Like people, like your director's not like, I want that done in one minute. Go! And he's just standing over your desk. You know, they don't do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's cool. Like what I'm trying to say is like, I like how that's implied in your. That's not what you said in class. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Cat. <laughs> What did he say? Sounds like a when do. Is that a when do? What is that? <laughs> it is. Sounds it like is. a it sounds like a person might be named when, last name do. No, no. no relation to Mountain Dew. No, he doesn't. He has exist. every relation to Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that actually, that's the trick. He actually is nothing but related. What's up, when? It's been a while. Not too much. Man. Yeah, yeah, did you finish those hundred paintings in one minute like I asked you to? <laughs> Uh, I think I failed about 99 of them. So. <laughs> I failed all 100. Yeah, yeah man. No, Wen has been doing good, though. He's been keeping track. He's been sending me stuff here, here and there. I'm proud of you, bud. Keep it up. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, keep doing that. Shout outs, Wen. Yeah. But any, anywho, yeah, your video stuff is really good. And uh, keep it up, bud. Thank Friendships. You. Yeah. Um, one thing I will say, just to wrap that up, is... My wife is, is drinking taking... a beer. She's pregnant. Judge her. Oh, no. no I, got her, I got her old duels. Who says that? You just, like, come out of nowhere, like... Oh, yeah, your vlog is great. Oh, my wife is drinking a beer. Let's judge her. Like, what? <laughs> they, they correlate. If you can't see the correlation... That's why you. That's why you'll. That's why you'll never make it in this industry. If you don't judge my wife right now, you're blacklisted. Like, There's an email. Let me open up my email, and it leads up to every single person two in the industry. Two no. so <laughs> To everyone that works in the industry, right now in the world. Right now, Raphael, Raphael Lacoste. He opens up his phone. He gets like, bing, and there's a picture of you. <laughs> he's like, got it. Yeah, he's he, gonna want to be like, who is this guy? Sid Mead. He's just like, got it. Don't, don't get him. <laughs> Craig, Craig Mullins, while he's surfing on a, on his Wacom tablet in Hawaii somewhere. I don't think he's in Hawaii anymore. <laughs> but when, he, he looks at his phone. He's just like, oh, got him. 
GG. <laughs> Public enemy number one. That list exists. Now you're on it. Anyway. Uh-oh. Anyways, sorry, Mike. I interrupted you. As <laughs> as Lynn clearly pointed out. It was just one comment. I just wanted to say that um, going into not doing this to starting to do it, I've like incorporated maybe a third of my day is now video editing. But like, I've, it's I find it kind of zen, so it's yeah, not the worst. Yeah, thing. find your find your but, thing, man. Yeah. Video so like in today's yeah in today's video, I I at the end kind of talk about how I'm trying to find that balance between maintaining relationships with my friends and actually putting in time into like my work. So that's something I am paying attention to. And that's hopefully cool. moving forward, even though I'm doing these daily, I'll slowly start to incorporate more and more often there is art involved in these videos. Because I don't want it to just be one thing if it doesn't have to be. So we'll see. Give it well, time. Well, yeah, just just keep doing what you're doing. Do what feels good, man. And then if, if it just happens yeah. to be mostly skating and hanging out with buds, so be it. And then uh, with art sprinkled here and there, so be it. So I have a guy that uh, was asking about your brushes. Um, oh yeah, sure. You have it on the uh, website, right? Is that updated I and all so. that? I actually, I don't, I'm not sure. I think if you go to the tutorials, can you double check for me, somebody? Yeah, I'm looking right now. If you go to tutorials and then under the tutorials t- window tab, there should be like my tutorials, Caleb's tutorials, and then resources. Is that correct? Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but are they updated? That's the question. Uh, the, I don't think they're updated, but um, I mean, you'll have the most out. essentials. I I basically only use like a round brush. That was and, for like, Leonard brush. my. So that's the second f- five minutes. Here's the third. All right, so I'm keeping track. Um, I think it's actually a, a really good tool to kind of see how far I get in each five minutes. I can progressively see how I either slow down or increase my speed. Um, cause I did it for the class because we, that, I had to go, but, um, I kept getting meetings pushed. So I was just like, well, I'll do another five minutes and then I'll, I'll do another one. And then, uh, I was just like, huh, it's actually not a bad thing. Like I definitely always do time myself, uh, but I didn't do it in such an incremental way where I would actually pay attention to the increments. You know, it was mostly just to get work done, but, uh, what I've done differently is just actually pay attention and make a new layer to demonstrate to myself what's going on. Dang, that's Mike typing, huh? I'm <laughs> sorry, I'll mute. I know, <laughs> I know. He, he's asking he's when he's a, a question. He's got like a super mechanic. No, it's fine. It's just let's be clear who's the rude one here. So no, no one, <laughs> no, no one blames John or when. Well, Stephen already or Josh. said I'm a bad influence on your life with all the skater vids. Yeah. So I'm, I'm feeling pretty bad today. Yeah, you better. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Bella. Oh, is uh, okay. is Bea listening to this? No, I, I, isn't Bella right? Isn't that her name? Yeah, that's my wife. Yeah. Did yeah. you not hear what I just said? Somebody commented said that I'm a bad influence on your wife. Oh, All the skater videos in response to the drinking. I see. I see. So I said I feel bad. That's exactly why she started drinking. She saw the video. Yeah. She's like, "How can someone be so bad?" <laughs> that was the connection you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. She's like, "How yeah. can someone be so bad?" I need to drink. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, that's hey, we got a question. Oh, damn. Yeah, I got two on YouTube as well. Oh, I go first. YouTube. Oh, I go first. dang. Uh, rock, rock, paper, scissors it. Okay, ready? ready? One, two, two three. three. Paper. Go. <laughs> paper. <laughs> what? Is he still tied? <laughs> you <laughs> cheater. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, now this, usually one, two, three. Now this Let's is go. this is how you do it online. This is how Not you do one, it. Two, three. This is how you do it online. Okay, you guys both <laughs> message Will on Discord your answer, and then okay, and right then, now. yeah, right, All Will right. on Discord right, your I'm answer, Discord. and then he'll tell you who the winner is, All right. All right, and then whoever gets the winning. Uh, oh, right, right now. Done. Yeah, Come right on. now. An hour later. Right now. Come what on, the? What the Come hell? On. Oh, you have no sense of context. You know, I said so, dynamite. Really? Both of you gave me the same? <laughs> <laughs> you guys both wrote dynamite? I go again. I, no, I wrote, no, I wrote they, both, they both gave me rock. Okay, do it that's again. fine. Do do it it again. Again. Okay, come on, Mike. Come on, come on, come on. And again, the same thing. Okay, yeah, go I again. I have again. never lost. Go again. Dude, I am the champion. I saw you literally lose to my son over the weekend. Come on, Mike. 
the same again. Come on, you two. <laughs> All right, here it is. This is it right here. All right. If, no, if, okay. if it's another tie, I'm gonna I'm gonna let Mike go. Yeah. I'll... Same again. What okay. the hell? So let's let Mike go. Yeah, that's four in a row. That's scary. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Paper, paper, paper. Come on. Go. Okay, I'm, I'm reading the question. Um, yeah, just read the question. The, the king said, Anthony, do you ever have nightmares about your paintings? There's a lot of demonic and nasty creatures. <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, but the answer is no. Like, if you meet me, like, if you hang out with me in person... You would be you would be shocked that this is the kind of stuff that I paint, you know. That's way I, worse. Yeah, it's what? Whoa! <laughs> when? Hey, can you put him on the blacklist, John? And uh, ex- oh. and make sure that he can uh, never learn from put anyone him out in the industry. Here. I don't control the blacklist. I don't ever want to control the blacklist. <laughs> too much power. Hey, that's a yeah. That's a dark that's, list. Just a bit of, <laughs> a bit of a, to hold an artist's life in your hands. It's a, Negative. Start, man. <laughs> Negative. That's your blacklist. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Yeah, I'm. I'm a pretty easygoing person, and the reason why I think I, I I thought about it too. I was like, yeah, I'm not like a, I don't like like based off of like what you would expect stereotypically. You know, not to say that this is clearly, if you draw this type of stuff, then you are this kind of person. Um. But like, I think it's most. I thought about it. Right? So I was like, well, why is it that I am really attracted to drawing this type of really nasty and demonic like i don't even like watching horror films you know i'm not a big fan of them and so uh, like i like them but i'm not like like i'm not the kind of person that just like loves it like i know a good friend of mine named brian who like does he's a creature designer and like he loves creature design right like he's all about mm-hmm. it like he goes to all the events and he goes to uh workshops you know what i mean like he has like all those horror movies like just like a library of them you know just chilling you get what I'm saying? Like, he, he, it makes sense. Like, everything is lined, lines up perfectly. But me, I don't do any of that. Um, it's not that I don't like to go to events and look at really cool monsters done by other artists. I'm actually a big fan of other great art. But uh, I think what it comes down to, why I have an affinity for it, is just because I like um, to paint. And some of the most complicated things to paint is, like, these overly complicated forms that go within other forms and... Uh, really complex anatomy um, that is just discombobulated. So it's, it's more of like a, a painting challenge that w- what gets me going and why I like to do it. But it doesn't give me a nightmare. So I'm not like, oh my god, why did I paint that thing? Like this was one time though, I was doing a Halloween fan art of uh, the Ring Girl, and I had to stop halfway through because I thought she was moving. I was like, all right, I'm done. That's <laughs> thought, the scariest <laughs> drawing that you've ever done. Yeah, I thought she was like actually like moving, like she's just getting like it's funny a little bit you closer. Said it's like real fears with that movie. Oh too. yeah, the ring and the grudge. Like I, I hate those films. Like in terms of like they give me genuine and they got fear. The long hair and it's wet. Something right? like yeah, something about it's like this Asian hair. tiny little Asian girls that are just their hair is in front of their face, and they're just out to kill Ew. you for no reason it just freaks me the hell out i think um i think it might have been trauma when i was a kid my mom used to watch like korean horror films and maybe oh, i saw man. them when i was kids and and those are probably the worst th- this freaked especially me especially at a young age yeah that's what i'm saying like, i just was traumatized <laughs> and so that's probably why like that kind of stuff just still kind of haunts me i think now i could probably not nah, never mind i'm not gonna even challenge i'm just gonna hey, say aj what the danielle has a new girl now she's gonna Scare you with the hoe. Who? Danielle. Oh, yeah, LA. Nah, she's fine. She's, a, <laughs> she's, she's, she's adorable. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm a, uh, she's going to get you now. She's going to get you now. <laughs> I've, been, I've been seeing her doing some weightlifting. She's picking up those bars. So maybe I'll be afraid of her in a practical sense. She could really beat me up. Now, here's another question for you. Hey, Anthony. Is it a bad idea I decide to post on ArtStation when I'm starting out with digital planning? No, that's all right. It's only a bad idea when you get blacklisted on the f- infamous blacklist that Mike is mm-hmm. on. And so is um, when. But you're, you're fine. Uh, I know people get kind of a little caught up of like the fear of, like, oh, you know, I'm not that good. And people are going to see that bad work and they're going to kind of criticize me for it. Um, well, the, the reality is, yeah, you know, people might not find your work, and even if they do, they might not be too excited about it. 
but there's never going to be a situation where like an art director is like looking through art station and he's just like oh my gosh hey jim come over here what look at how bad this artist is oh my gosh you're right <laughs> i mean does that person really think they have a chance in this industry i uh, know man I mean, we were always really good. Yeah, I don't think we ever sucked ever in our whole careers. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah, you know what we should do? What? We should make a blacklist. Oh, really? Yeah. A list of all the artists that are terrible. And we should just bookmark his page right now and make sure that nobody, nobody gives this person a chance because of how bad he is. Yeah. But what happens if he gets better? You know, because people get better you know, in time. No. No forgiveness. How dare he post an art station <laughs> when he's not ready? Yeah, that that doesn't those conversations don't happen at all, obviously. Uh, and even if they did, if there was something you know, that, that actually happened, uh, yeah, don't work for that company. <laughs> you know, like those people are jickles. Um, yeah, but it's like if you just want to post to keep yourself accountable and just like you want to kind of keep yourself motivated and build a portfolio over time, well, that's completely innocent and fine. And it'll be kind of cool too, like, you know, 10 years from now and you, you, you have all those old artworks still floating on your art station, like your old art station, uh, to be able to look back and be like, dang, man, look how bad I used to be, you know? Or look how much I, I, I could have, like, look how much work I needed to still have. Uh, and there's some artists that do have that still, like, which is cool. Uh, I like, yeah, um, it's really cool to see. It's really cool to see, like, someone like uh, Merrick Oaken. You go to his DeviantArt, you can see like his very first oh, like huge. drawings, and it's just like real old. And and then if you look at like his recent stuff, it's just like so contrasted. It's amazing. It's just amazing to see that genuine growth. And so <laughs> I, I wouldn't be afraid of it. You know, uh, becoming good at whatever it is takes time. So just be patient and yeah. uh, feel feel free. And if it's, if you do feel like you know I want my art station to be pure, um, then try uh, try. Like a Tumblr or a blog, you know, something that's a little bit more catered to this type of thing. Uh, but there's no real wrong answers here, I don't think. Um, you know, ArtStation is, is available to anybody who wants to put art there. You know, so do it. Do it, bud. Take, 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 All take, right. take. So you got any questions, Will? Uh, not on Twitch. Yeah, the YouTube crew, though, they they always jamming. I bet there's a lot over there, yeah? Yeah, we got some here. I want to give all, a chance. Uh, Twitch only has 10 viewers. No, that's, Where's what, the why Twitch are you to, crew? Why are you trying to judge the 10 viewers? You're saying that those oh, 10... Maybe we need to drop oh, Twitch and just we, stick we, with we YouTube and Facebook. We need more viewers on Twitch is what I'm saying. What are you trying to say about it? you saying they're not quality because there's only a few of them? You guys, no. gonna, you Twitch fools, are you going to stand up to that? What? You why, gonna... why are you putting words in my mouth? Why are you putting words in my mouth? <laughs> well, why did you bring up the fact that there's only 10, huh? Why does that matter? Why is that because relevant? Because maybe they can share and get more people on the Twitch, nope, bro. that's not relevant. Doesn't Remember everybody this? matter, Will? Yeah, Will. Doesn't everybody, does everybody matter? matter? Oh, I guess Will, you know, <sighs> it is Trump's Black America now. <laughs> Blacklist. <laughs> uh, you, you guys have caught me. You have revealed Blacklist. Yes. I have another question, but go ahead, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Okay. Um, next one says... <laughs> X. William Zell said... How have more discipline before sleep? I always make a list of things to do, but when I wake up, I feel lazy and procrastinate a lot. <laughs> yeah, so how do you get discipline, right, in general? Uh, I'll give you a, a, a quick answer to this. Um, the, the best way you, you should go about this is just do something small. Don't do anything crazy, elaborate. If you make, like, a list of stuff, it's going to be more practical. Uh, I'm sorry, it's going to be more probability, or more probability of you not doing what's on that list. And I know this because I've done this myself. Um, but if you make a few things on the list and you make them small things or incremental things, it's more practical that you will do them. And also what's important is that if you just stay consistent, that's really kind of the value there. That's why I was just in, earlier in the stream, I was talking to Mike about how I was proud of him because he's, he's following into that. And it seems like it's working out. And I'm just encouraging them because it's what friends do, they encourage each other. And so, uh, yeah, like, I mean, maybe Mike can talk a little bit about it because he's put this into practice recently. You know, this is something that I continuously do, um, but maybe someone like Mike, who just came from kind of a world of just kind of waiting around, you know, sitting around to wait for something to happen, to then saying, you know what, it's not going to happen unless I do something. Uh, so maybe he could talk about it. 
little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what happened. So one day I woke up and I was like, I was thinking to myself, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much in a position where I can do this. Like, let's be realistic here. And the only thing that was really able to make it so that I was able to actually can be consistent so far and make this something that I actually stopped procrastinating on and took initiative was to turn it into a non-negotiable, which is something I saw in a TED Talks once. And the whole idea is that instead of building goals, you would build systems, and that's a better way to go about reaching your, your goals. Because with a system, you feel like you're being rewarded in the moment, whereas with a goal, you're not rewarded until you reach that goal. So there's a lot of strife and frustration until you reach that point, unless you you notice the system, right? So I set up a system for myself and I made it something that was a non-negotiable, which means even on a day where I feel fatigued and I'm like, ah, I don't know if I can do this, I say, no, I have to make a video today. I need to stay consistent. Um, the quality of the videos will go up over time. You know, all these things I don't need to worry about. Priority number one is stay consistent. Make sure there's a video tonight. And that's what uh, really helped. So. What I would say is think about that, look up online, see if you can find that TED Talks on non-negotiables because uh, it really helped. It was only like 10 minutes. So, yeah. Chi. Chi. Good answer. Tight. <laughs> damn it. So now it's YouTube, right? <laughs> what, why are you Wait. laughing? Who's laughing? I just right got now? a message. This guy says, so guys, I heard that you were a recruitment hub for ISIS. Firstly, is this true? <laughs> and how can I join? <laughs> you have to um, find my cat's P.O. box. God damn it. All right. Anyways, the dark next web. question. I, yep. wonder, I wonder if like that word is just slagged and ISIS like, just finds any oh, opportunity to like throw in their two cents. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, yeah, we're roll a pencil. We're affiliated with them. Damn it. <laughs> well, uh, all right. Right. Earlier, Brandon and Dennis said, please speak of your choices using blues and reds here. This is way earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, I just chose blue. I'll change the color. That's like literally the answer. <laughs> Col color is a, an illusion. I say that all the time, but it's reals. It's realities. Here, let me run to the next five minutes. Let me make this right. color. I believe I need to duplicate this, and then that would be, yeah, okay, cool. Question. Looks like occlusion painting, is this, is this how you are getting a sense of realism? If so, can you expand on this? How is it that it looks realistic? Looks like occlusion painting. I appreciate it. Um, I don't know if that's officially the term. Um, this is just how I've painted for many, many years. And one one of the things that I do is just I just stay focused. I'm going to pause the timer just so I can kind of move along. So um, I I was talking to, to my students about this, and I made a very clear claim. I said, when you when first out, start out, you know, there's a very distinguishable time that you're going to find that it takes for you to start a painting. And for me, right now, I know that, within the first five minutes I can I, I have a good idea of where it's going to lead and then every everything after that is just uh, a matter of just detailing the original vision hey, who's who's running right now who's jogging outside <laughs> breathing all hard I think that's Josh that's definitely uh, Josh damn it I thought I gotta move my mic Sorry, guys. hey you're yeah. working out just yeah. mute your mic yeah it's fine to, to, to get your workout on man. he's actually that's, working out yeah that's yeah. that's cool then no, I was just uh, like, I just, yeah, well, he literally was jogging. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> I was uh, just I'll joking. go on mute. I'll, I'll be in the background. Yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. Thanks. Um, so, yeah, you know, you, <laughs> you have uh, that. So, like, if you hit, look here, this is, like, the first five minutes that I spent. And then uh, here's the next five minutes, which is, again, just detailing and detailing and detailing. And now I'm on to the last five minutes right now. And so... Um, and what I generally do uh, is basically try to figure it out in the very beginning, and I try to give enough information, whether that's including some sort of inclusion pass, like an idea of an inclusion uh, lighting, but like all things do have inclusion. That's just how the world looks. Um, but it doesn't mean necessarily I'm sitting here thinking of painting in within the cracks and shadows. I'm just thinking about painting 
um, the form so that they look like they're being hit by light in general. And that includes many other factors of, uh, other than just inclusion. But it's like a lot to talk about. It's not, not enough time that I can get into in this chat. Um, but I have videos talking about some of these things. Uh, and uh, a, a lot of them kind of get into kind of the philosophy about how I think about my paintings. And also some technical skill on what it, what it takes to kind of make these accomplishments. But at the end of the day, uh, when you see before you is just a lot of um, just practice just paint and practice like that's the shortest answer to that just tons of practice yeah all right let me pull a question it's my turn oh wait wait hold on will oh, wait, will yeah let me see <laughs> yeah. uh nothing uh Okay, I got one. I do. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, right. But I'm not gonna tell it. I'm shutting this this bitch down. <laughs> you twitch fools. <laughs> y'all, y'all are fools. Right. And Thanks for hanging out, guys. Never Peace mind. Out. Uh, somebody answered it on the chat already too. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Will. <laughs> Come on, Will. Get on it. I'm sorry. I, I tried. All right. Just like a right. minute ago. Oh, All right, boy. Uh, you. It, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. That Will's given up on you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm also animating, so like it just no nope. stop all of your dreams and ambitions, and yeah. <laughs> just answer. I'm gonna cry. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead, whoever. Okay. Um, so Tan Fukan, wait, Tan Fukang, 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 Fukang. Are you are you doing mumble rap right now? Is it no, doing some mumble rap? I can't read. <laughs> Tan Fukan, uh, how useful do you think it is to share your work on like Instagram, for example, in order to get your work out there? Uh, pretty much necessary. That's it. I mean, just <laughs> yeah, just do it. Just it's harmless not to. I'm sorry, it's harmless um, to do it. It's like there's there's no harm in sharing your work in progress, and uh, it just slowly builds your reputation. Takes time, but it happens. All right, I'll pull another one real quick. This is a short one. Oh, uh, James James Heller asked, "Hey guys, how do how can I use my art to get laid? How can I use <laughs> my art to get laid? Um, it doesn't happen. I don't think uh, it's like some obscure you situation. If you want it? What a book? <laughs> yeah, that's deep. You have a book for real? When? Yeah, yeah. How to use your art to get laid? No, how to get laid. Period. Oh. <laughs> no, but that's not the question, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're very specific. Well, I gave him a shortcut. Instead of working on art, I just gave him a book to get laid. To get laid. Ah. So you answer the second half of this question. That's gotcha. right. Yeah, I um, it didn't work for me. I just, I just, I well, was, what I was is, reasonable. What is, what is laid? Um, I'm assuming sex with the opposite sex or same sex coitus. depends how you run run your show. Mm. Coitus. Make babies. Well, not necessarily making babies. That doesn't have to happen. <laughs> yeah. But uh, come on, Will. Uh, get your act together, Will. <laughs> <laughs> um, you always try to make babies. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Will's just trying to populate the earth. <laughs> <laughs> Trap them. I mean, <laughs> we all do this. Trap them. Yeah, let's stop it there. Okay. Uh, Damn it, oh, John, 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 pull a question. Let's do a go. <laughs> let's do a go find me to get Will vasectomy. Oh, oh went there. Yeah. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. All right, this one says, Anthony, <laughs> you're an amazing painter. Curious Thank you. if I have you. Uh, Cool, bro. Anthony, you're an amazing painter. I'm curious if I have you thought about changing up your art. Have you thought? I'm curious if you have thought about changing your art to something new as a challenge. For instance, getting really good at comic style, line art, or Disney style to the illustration. You know, those are just examples. Oh yeah, sure. I get it. I, um, yeah, I actually can do reasonable, like, specifically when it comes to character, I can do a little bit different variety of work, but the, the reality is I don't, 
necessarily want to challenge myself unless I want to, right? Like I don't just do it for the sake of, for the sake of just doing it. I, I think about like whether it's something I do generally want to do. Something that I learned in the last few years is about focus. Like having this kind of laser focus is a secret weapon to growth. And I usually talk to my students about this and I talk to my peers and children to help them understand that. Because a lot of times people will try to find all these alternative ways of growth. And I generally try to tell people, stay stay pretty much on, on task as long as you can, you know? Try to find a thing and then try to make that thing your thing. And so uh, whether it's animation style or comic book style, it doesn't mean that I have no uh, attraction to these things. I actually love animation style. Animation style is something that I do actually enjoy looking at a lot. And that actually makes more sense with my personality than it does like this creepy monster stuff. You know? And so, um, but I've been thinking about how I would go about doing that and uh, I'll have to just challenge myself. And one of the reasons that I plan on doing that is to basically find um, an alternative to Roblox. Because I'm watching my children play this game and I'm just like, but the graphics <laughs> though <laughs> Dude, it really is something Please you know talk like about roblox yeah roblox I mean, is good but the, those graphics though well they're ahead of you know they're ahead of the game so anybody get, challenging nah, them they those graphics though there is someone <laughs> that challenged them and beat them and destroyed them it was minecraft just saying dude those graphics though <clears throat> my job I got a I got a couple questions on uh, oh, Twitch now, yo. Coming through. They coming. All right. Uh, first short one is uh, from Shilton Webb. I keep missing the first part of your videos. Do you start with an outline sketch or do you start with rough shapes? Uh, I, this is literally what I started with. Oh, I haven't timed myself for this last one, so I'll just assume that this is five minutes. I'm gonna stop now. Um, this is exactly what I started with right here. This is about five minutes in. Five minutes later, five minutes later, five minutes later, five minutes later, five mm -hmm. minutes later, five minutes later. And I'll post this later on the interwebs for those to scrutinize and judge. I said, who, a question, who is Slater? Who's Slater? I said five minutes later. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. I Next got, question. Uh, I got another question. Uh, uh, hello, Moto143 is Ooh. asking, uh, at the moment, I feel like I'm not improving as much as I could be. I'm drawing every day, but I feel like I should be focusing on specific elements. But where should I start? Um, wherever. This is, a, this is a question I hear all the time. It's not a matter of where to start. It's a matter of just starting. And if you say you're drawing every day and all the time and you don't feel like you're growing... Um, there, there might be a, a few symptoms to why this might be the case. So let's focus on a, a, a couple. Or let's focus on one or two. There's a lot of them that I usually can see, but that's better. It's easier for me to see if I kind of see the way that you work. Um, but it's, it's harder for me to just gauge based off of just a, a, a question that's just thrown out. So the first symptom I usually experience when people say this type of stuff um, is they are not looking at anything new. They keep looking at the same old, same old. Uh, I, I forget what the saying is. Maybe you guys can refresh my memories, but it's like, you know, insanity is not this idea of being crazy entirely. It's just this idea of trying to change something when you don't... Uh, see, I don't even remember. No, no, no. It's, 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 it's not the concept of doing the same thing over and over. Yeah. Oh, uh, and expecting a new result. result. That's it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, that. All right. So, you, if you're doing that, it's the same kind of ideas, like the same concept. Like, uh, what do you expect? You think you're growing? Your growth is going to be dramatic if um, you make very subtle changes or not changes, no changes at all to your um, regimen of learning. Um, yeah, it's not going to happen. But at the same time, uh, and the second symptom that I I usually happen this leads to the second symptom which is, um, what's the hurry? Like, why are you trying to go so fast? Like, you have to understand that all things take time. All things. Uh, here, let me give you a good example. 
uh, I'm not, not sure who you are exactly, but I am a, just going to make the assumption that you can walk. And if you can't, I mean, this still this idea still applies. You you would understand the concept. Basically, if you can walk now, did you know there was a time in your life where you didn't know how to walk? And usually the answer is, oh, I see. I see what you're saying. I see what you're getting at. Because walking took you an effort to get good at, too. You just don't remember. Because it was so long ago. And it's the same thing with, like, art and stuff like that. Almost almost all things. It just is a product of um, trial and error and consistency. And patience. So just be patient. Um, there's many other factors, but like I said, those ones are a little more subtle. It's a little hard for me to pinpoint. I just got to know you more. Um, but... But on the on the generals, on the general, yeah, if you um, do the same stuff and expect different things, you know, it's kind of like, come on now. Come on now. Come on. Yeah, let's talk to good old Slater. Hey, Slater, what do you think? Hey, guys. I'm Slater. Yeah, hey, what's up, Slater? I knew you were in here. So how are things? Yeah, are... I have a question. <laughs> 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 why are you laughing, why are you laughing at me? Oh sleep. <laughs> Alright guys, hey um I have another question. Okay, Slater, well, hey, yeah. Yeah. well yeah. I'll ask your question. Yeah. Slater, Take it easy, Slater. Hey, um can we do lightning round? I'm gonna get going. Sure. So let's, yeah, let's lightning go. round do it. Yeah. All getting, right. getting close says, to hey Anthony, what's a hey. good way to learn from? I always feel like my pennies look flat, even when I finally nail the lighting down. Uh, thanks so much for all your awesome videos. Oh, no problem. Um, Bitch. Whoa. Slater. <laughs> uh, Thank you because we laughed at him. I, um, yeah, so, so a lot of times flatness comes from not lighting, but forms. So perhaps your forms aren't unchecked, so. Double check your forms, buddy. Make your cylinders look cylindrical. Make your cubes look cubic. Make your spheres look spherical. And you'll be at well on your way to paint better, bro. Go, Michael. Go. Bro. Uh, Daniel Robinson says, hey, I am good at making Are you sure you pronounced that correctly, though? I'm, yes. This time, yes. <laughs> Right. So you yes. name that was a pretty white name. Yeah, that was pretty white. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> I'm not gonna make any All right, Michael anymore. Young. Damn. I'm just saying. All right, Damn. Michael Young. <laughs> Damn. Dude. Oh, and then he called out my name. Oh. Damn. Yeah, Anthony <laughs> Jones. Continue. 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 Let's go. Let's go. We gotta go. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Anthony um, Jones, Michael Young, the whitest the people jokes. you know. Quit the jokes. Uh, okay, I, I am good at making line art and are all right at making paintings. Should I continue to excel at line art or should I get better at painting or do both? Um, whatever makes you happy, man. Don't, don't, mess, don't, don't rest the fate of your career on what I think you should do. Just do what you'd like to do. If you like doing more line art, then do more line art. I know plenty of artists who love line art. And still do it professionally. And I know plenty of artists who just paint everything and love painting, which me included. But um, there, there is no reason to do one or the other just because it's like a thing that you hear in the industry. Focus on what you like to do. Become the dude that does it well, and people will look out for you. Uh, you got one, Will? Go. Hold, hold on, one more thing. Daniel, I'm sorry for assuming you're HSB. I just want to say that. Yeah, don't be assuming people's HSB, bro. It's an HSB. Yeah. Hue saturation and brightness. All right. <laughs> Good. Well, uh, let me see. There's not really a question because um, most people answered it back. Um, Tight. Tight. Dang, Twitch people just know. That's probably why I don't ask. Yeah. Them. They just know the world, how the world works. Yeah. Dang, Twitch. Yeah, they're all yeah. answering each other. Dang, cool. the community. I know. I was engaged. like, yeah, I got this. All right, Anthony. I have heard from many artists that doing fan art art pieces is a great way for getting exposure sure to is. your work whilst whilst <laughs> working on your own stuff at the same time sure. uh, what are your yeah. thoughts on this yes did yes, you yes, take yes, this route yes, when first starting yes, out yes it is, right. it is it is it is well, that's the last of the questions so yeah it's, yeah, a, it's a great way to do it yes absolutely and i uh i'll, I'll make a this i'll make a point about this 
do what you like though. Be do fan art of things that you're actually a fan of. Don't do it just because. It really is like Clicks. one yeah. one way that got me into just a cooking job back in the day. I'm just throwing this out there, right? Uh oh. A cooking job. Chipotle. Uh oh. Whoa. I worked at Chipotle. Dang. But uh. <laughs> oh, tight. <laughs> I went in and I was just like, you know, like maybe the strategy should be, you know, I buy the food and try to be friendly and just, you know, just be like, hey, I love your food. Let's do this, you know, like, hey, just be energetic and stuff to just the cashier, you know, maybe the cashier could offer something, right? Just be friendly to him or her. And that's what I did. I was just like, hey, you know, I went in more than once, two times, three times. And they got to know my face. And they were like, oh, this guy's cool. I want to hire him, you know? What? But before that, it, my intention was, you know, are you guys hiring? <laughs> I see. You know what I mean? So, Have you ever heard art. of this thing called oh, yourself application? Yeah, there's oh, that applications dang, too. Of course, but I like, I like dropping, them, dropping them the coldness. Yeah. Dude, yeah. I thought there was global warming up in here. I guess not. <laughs> Wind just proved that the winter has arrived. It's gotten real cold in here. Oh, man, I guess all those those Republicans are right. There's nothing but snowflakes all up man. in the stream. Oh, oh man. Dang. Damn. Damn. I got one more question that showed up, and then I, I got to get a, out. I need to put a sweater on. It's getting cold. Getting I'm going to ask you, and then I have to go. It says, hey, guys, just a quick question. For an artist that's starting out that has no experience in the industry, should they look for an in-house job or start with freelance? What you got to do is you got to buy their game, right? You got to go to GameStop and say, hey. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. I got to go. Peace uh, out, dudes. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hey, John. Hey. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to watch a movie with my girlfriend. Okay. Go oh, let's go. be honest. Go I do did. it. Go yeah. do it. Have a great night. Yeah, Thanks a lot. Yeah, right. Love you too, Bye. Bye. I love you, buddy. Bye. Later, buddy. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, I, the best way to really, like, just again, lightning around this, the best way to go about that is just, again, just constantly put your face in front of other people's faces. Like, John was actually kind of alluding to some truth. It's, it's you know, if you meet people in person and make them real connections, um, you have just increase your chances. It's just how it works. You just increase your chances, and people generally will recognize you. And people want to be friends with their friends. I'm sorry. People want to work with their friends. You know. And so if you're friendly and they they see, associate you as as a person that they consider or would like to work with, uh, then you increase your chances. And then uh, having good work and putting it online often is another obvious great way to get yourself seen and people to recognize you and appreciate you for what you got so i highly recommend you do that as well as you know uh you can do all the other kind of normal stuff like applying for jobs but I, in my ex personal experience uh and this is anecdotal i, I know uh, i mostly like 90 percent of the jobs i've ever gotten have been through friends or colleagues and and i've 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 noticed that the majority of people that i have met and encountered also have this mostly it's true i don't know too many people who are just getting jobs just from their merit of their work alone you know only the really top tier artist is probably can do that but then they've built a reputation for their top tierness and they're kind of um at that point like like just miraculously good too you know and so yeah i mean think about kim jung Jin. he's a good example right he I don't think anybody knew about him for like a few years, except probably the, the closest or most probably Southern Koreans. But like, uh, he posted like one YouTube video or Facebook video, and then of him drawing like this amazing drawing and illustration, and it blew up, and all of a sudden he got all these opportunities. This is kind of how it works, all right? It's like the bum who was singing on the, on the or not the bum that was singing. It was the bum who had like that radio voice. Remember that guy? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah if he was just. If that guy didn't happen to drive by, that guy happened to not videotape him, he'd probably still be in the streets, right? Or at least... Does not, he have a radio show now? Yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing now, but at that time, you get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he... It it, it was a, a stroke of chance. But now imagine if he did that continuously and constantly, okay? It's it's challenging. I'm not trying to say it isn't, but that's the point. Like, a lot of people don't want to take the challenge. 
All right. Any other questions? I'm gonna roll out. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got I got the two quick ones. Um, okay, let's do it. He's uh, Shelton was asking if uh, five minutes click and drag to change rice brush sizes, and do you use the blur tool? I just uh, when I was first first starting out, I was just constantly practicing that, and then the blur tool. I use the smudge tool, not the blur tool. Like, I think the smudge tool is a subset of the blur tool, so maybe yeah. technically I do. Okay. Yeah, and you use the click and drag, right? Not the brackets. Um, no, I use uh, R and T, which is equivalent to the brackets. I just moved them over. Okay. I moved it to my left-oriented keyboard side because that's where my left hand is f mostly located. Efficiencies. Okay. Um, there's a lot on YouTube, so we're not going to get to all of them. Well, I got uh, four four, four minutes, right so just throw them. Okay. Throw them. The, the EVC said, when you were in the beginning stages of learning art, did you develop your painting skills first, or or your design skills first uh both uh, at the same time two, i which value more which do you value more currently now uh i've always valued design more than painting painting just you just get better at just by the product of practice so if you're practicing design through painting then you're practicing painting too just okay secondary moisted melons said any advice for young aspiring concept artists yeah make Artwork that inspires other artists seems pretty open ended. I usually have a better answer for that, lightning around. But that's King that's, has a better answer. He said buy all the Anthony's gum roads. Oh <laughs> that that'd be nice, thank you. But you don't have to. Okay. Um Volk Tuna says, Hey Anthony, heard you say to strike a balance in practice and life in general from <laughs> your YouTube vids. Perfect. What say you to the things like Feng Zhu who advocates sixteen hours of practice a day? Uh don't do that. <laughs> uh, like, Feng is good, man. No doubt. But there's no need to do 16 hours every day. I mean, I did that for like the first four or five years of my career, and I continuously did that almost for like the next two to three years. And I was just like, man, this is rough. Um, if you have a life to live, then perhaps it's not it's, it's gonna be bad but like if you don't not to say that like you don't have any life is a bad thing i'm just saying like if art is your life like you truly love it then maybe it's not a bad thing right because you are living in your life but the the answer to this question is better put into a physical capacity think of it like this um if you did 1000 squats for 16 hours a day or whatever however many squats you can do in their 16 hours uh you would literally destroy yourself right correct and so think about that. You're doing the same thing to your brain. And your brain, whether you want to believe it or not, f factually, it's a physical object. Do you know how I know this? Because I can take a hammer to your arm and break your arm, and I can take a hammer to your head and break your head. You understand? So your brain uses proteins to make new memories. That's a physical thing. You know, it's all physical. It lives in the phys physical universe. And uh, most physical things can be worn and torn down, and that's what happened to me. That's, like, potentially why my health dramatically dropped so i had a lot of anxiety in my life um and uh more importantly i um was just not happy so anyway moving on okay uh i got last two questions go cool. that's cool all right uh is it good to be specialized in a certain area or be able to do multiple things i'm a big and fan of specializing and then multiple skills um is is a bonus but key on like uh my friend said it the best uh jack of all trades but a master at one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then uh last one is uh as artist develops uh he develops his vision what is good and what is bad and usually it goes hand in hand with his skill but i've developed an eye for the first and it goes far from my skill level and as a result as a result everything i do looks like shit to me no matter what yeah your taste is better than your skill uh, I understand that. Um, that's that's a superficial problem. Just ignore it. Just know that you get better in time. Don't let something as silly as you're not being good hold you back from being good. Okay. Jordan Hillard asked, have you invested into Connect set up for motion capture for your 3D concept art? Yeah. I've got to connect. I can put it on my... I, I brought my son's Connect and I, I can do it. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's dope. It's cool. really actually pretty easy. It's crazy, man, how technology is advanced. Don't break it. It only has a 90-day warranty. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. You're, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're a dude. That knows a thing. <laughs> I was thinking about surfing on it. Oh, boy. All right, go Don't ahead. Don't call me. <laughs> Not gonna answer. Be quiet, Isis. Be quiet. <laughs> all right, all right. How many more have we got? Um, the timer just ran uh, out. Is that it? Uh, just I'll get one last one right here. Okay, all right. cool. Um, Keddie Key, Keddie Key said, "Any advice regarding applying for art schools like Art Center or University of Art Academy? Do you need any? Do you need to have mastered art before applying?" I think uh, for a lot of schools, you just gotta have a pulse, and then you'll get in. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was joking, man. <laughs> they don't and care, dude. They want your money, man. Art they don't. Institute. Yeah, they don't AI, care. AI is going nonprofit officially. Oh, whatever. Um, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. Um, How are you going to do that? The art center is a little bit more re- reputable. They they do yeah. give provide some sort of portfolio, but you just had to show some interest in some genuine skill. They used to have a much stricter, much harsher. Uh, standard to get in which made them a really great school but you know everyone has to pay their bills and they were accredited and there's a lot of standards that goes with that I'm not necessarily mad at Arts Center I'm mad at the system right Um, but uh, if you don't care about having a degree uh, and you're planning on going to school let's say in California specifically in the LA central area like where Arts Center would have to be happen to be just go to brainstorm those guys know how to teach you. They'll teach you everything you need for a fraction of the cost. The difference is you have to pay up front. There's no loan type of situation. But that's better, too, because you pay what you get, and then you're out. You know, there's no loans or debt you have to pay afterwards. You're, you get the education you wanted, and then when you're done, whether that's a year or two years in, um, you know, you get out. And they definitely turn out great talent. They're good teachers. They're good people. It's a good cost. Highly recommend it. All right. So we're going to be ending the questions there. Thank you, guys. Yeah, man. Thanks, uh, Mike. Thanks, Will, for helping moderating. Thanks, John, who's not here. Uh, thanks, Wen and Josh, for just chilling, being entertaining, adding some humor to the conversations. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Appreciate everyone that joined the, the streams, too. You guys are great. I'm going to go <laughs> hang out with the ladies and then uh, go to sleep. And, uh, yeah, that's Have it. Fun. All right, so... Um, YouTube, we're saying bye to you guys first. Later, friends. See you later.